is up guys and welcome back to the channel Justin here and in today's video we're gonna go over the topic of organizing tackle and as boring as this sounds and nobody really likes to do it it is super important uh, you know to be efficient out on the water and there's no point in having all these lures if you're not well organized and well prepared to get out there and be as effective as possible on the water so I promise you this video is not gonna be full of me just shuffling around some lures and be like whoa here it is here's my stuff this is how I do it no I'm gonna go over some tips and tricks for you you know as an angler to get better and more efficient out on the water so let's roll the intro and get right into it All right, so man, we got the boat pulled out. I could have kept it in the shop, but you know, it's been a long winter. We got a lot of stuff to organize. I have not been doing a good job of keeping all this stuff organized. Oh, this is my camera slider. Oops, let me move it. You're probably wondering what the heck is this contraption? It's video equipment, which I could make a whole video on how to organize that, but that is not today's video. So this is a little box I keep in my room. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. I have a ton of stuff in here that is not very organized. It kind of looks organized from this point of view, but we're going to get into it and I'll show you uh, what, what I'm doing, how I organize stuff, and we got a lot of stuff to do. So guys, the first tip I have on getting your tackle organized is one of these bad boys. Uh, this is a label making machine. I, I, that's what I'm going to call it this video. Uh, it's pretty cool. You turn it on. However, uh, you type in whatever you want on the little keypad and click print. I've already done so, and there you go. Boom, it says cranks. I could stick that to my crank box once I find it and get it organized, but I really think, you know, just starting with a good hierarchy, that's the right word, yeah, that, that makes sense, kind of. Starting with good organization is go ahead and label all your boxes what you want them to be and then from there you just start putting the specific lures that you know you labeled in that box to where you can't change your mind and start adding stuff together you can also i've seen where other people take different colored tape and you can just use your noggin remember which color is what because you know from this glance you can't really tell what stuff is at a first glance but that's just the first tip. So tip number two is this thing right here. I don't know what you want to call it, but I call it my, all right, I just acted like I was going to come up with a name on the spot. I don't know what I call this little thing. I just put my favorite baits, whatever, the night before, whatever I think I'm going to be using the most, I'm going to throw it up here. Uh, right now, it is not that way. Don't look at this and be like, why would he want to throw a big lizard and a chatter bait at the same time or at the same conditions? This is totally unorganized. Later in the video, I'm going to get everything organized. Uh, right now, I'm just going over some hacks, you know, some quick information. Here it is. I took these little clips. Here, let me zoom in. You can see I took these little clips and put some double-sided adhesive tape on here. And just, you know, it's this simple. Boom. I got my, got my spinner bait. I want to put it back. This, that, yada, yada. Oh, that's really zoomed in on my face. So that's tip number two. So tip number three is to invest in one of these. There's a few different various products out there that helps you, you know, organize your hooks and weights and stuff like that. Uh, this is what I've found to be the best. It's pretty cheap. I actually got this box for five bucks. It's a Gamagatsu uh, little case here, and it's I'm pretty sure it's made for hooks because it has all these little slots in it. I've put this in a few videos, so I'm going to go through this quick. I know a lot of you, you know, if you've been loyal subscribers, have already seen this little hack. But what this is, this is kind of a new addition here, is see this box right here? It's kind of hard, maybe because I haven't taken it out in a while. You know, you've probably seen floating around the internet the new company Lure Lock. They make adhesive stuff, adhesive, you know, 3600 trays, or this is 3700. They make adhesive or a sticky material that's in the bottom of trays well this is pretty cool uh i bought one of the little pads and stuck it right here because i want to be able to take this out sometimes but most of the time it's just going to stay right there and i can use it from where it is and it sticks back fairly well it doesn't really collect residue they say you can wash it and all that and there you go guys but this is a little organizer where i keep all my weights so like you have the different sizes 
Yeah, I'm really low on on my lead weights and tungsten. Actually, I don't know if I have like any tungsten. Y'all know how expensive that stuff is. Man, I need to stock up. Spring's coming. Make sure you get organized. This is tip number three. Let's keep moving on. So tip number four is to get you a soft plastic binder. You know, all of these little packs here. Oh, uh, well this one isn't little. This is actually an eight inch Cinco. It's, it's actually a very large bait. Uh, I got this plus size binder for baits just like this. I've had a few in the past that, you know, they don't work with big baits. So go ahead and get you this mega I don't know what the actual name of this is. I bought it at Bass Pros H2 Express. It's a huge binder. Uh, it's got a lot of different pockets in it. And what I've done, I know this isn't really a hack and most of y'all probably have something similar, but if you're familiar with these things at all, you know that these little bitty um, collars or whatever you want to call them, binders, are always ripping the bag, the seam will bust open. Right here I've taken duct tape and I've put it on both sides of every, see that's why I need to get organized. <laughs> I put it on both sides of every, you know, little bag here. Yes, it took some time, but you know, this will last you a while. It sucks really bad when all these start to bust open and your stuff falls out everywhere and whatever. So. Here's hack number four, I think this is. So this next tip is gonna help you out a lot. You know, I would definitely get one of these things and that is a good line cutter. Uh, this brand actually is called Line Cutters. I know a lot of times you're in the boat, you're trying to, you know, you just tied on a new bait or you're trying to snip your line real quick and you can't find pliers or you're trying to cut braid and your, your pliers are too dull so you need the little snippers and where the heck are those things? Well, this thing is an adhesive mount that I have right here on the boat. Uh, line Cutters makes this, and watch how easy this is. Boom, cut that line. Uh, it'll cut braid, super good. And I just keep it right here. I'm never gonna lose that. It's stuck there, it's sleek, it doesn't take up any space. Uh, so invest in one of those. I'm gonna try to leave some of the links of the different products below, and you can go check them out. But yeah, that thing has saved me a lot of time and frustration of digging through my stuff looking for pliers or snippers. So this is a tip that is very important because rods are very fragile and you need to protect them. You pay a lot of money for these things, so you need to get you a good rod sleeve or rod sleeves. Uh, I'm really impressed with this one. I just got it in. I ordered one to see the, ma the material and the quality of it. This is a six cents sleeve. It's made out of a neoprene material versus you know some of your other sleeves have that you know I don't know I always call, they're kind of like a Chinese finger trap they kind of like fluff up and they're made out of nylon but the bad thing about that is is your eyes will get caught up they'll go through that nylon and in the past I've hated that because I go to I go to pull one off real quick and an eye will get caught up in there and I about ripped the eye off because yeah it got caught up in here so this neoprene right here uh, it's not gonna do that, it's super sleek. It looks really nice, the quality is great. Go check these out. You need a bunch of these to protect your stuff. It helps it slide in and out of the rod locker easier. I'm gonna move all of this junk I need to organize and also tilt this down and show you all that. So what I mean by that is if you're trying to throw your rod in the sleeve, obviously turn it upside down. That's another tip uh, that this is just kinda this isn't really a hack or you can't buy this. It's just, it's just some advice. Turn your rod upside down to where the eyes are actually, you know, facing down because you're putting pressure on the back side of the rod and it slides in there really nice. I don't know how many rods I've messed up because an eye's got nicked and, you know, it's broken. I've had to get it fixed or I've just retired it in general. So there's a quick tip for your rods. Also, what I keep in here, and this this is my main tackle storage if we're talking about the layout of my boat. I keep the rods in the rod holder. I don't like to put tackle in there because, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I'm just weird. I wanna be able to put all of my tackle that I need. I know as I get more tackle, and I have plenty of it now, I'm not saying I need more, uh, I'll have to expand and come up with a new system. But right now, I keep it all in here. But what I'll also keep in here is this little trash can, so to say. If a fish rips up a lure or I'm just finished fishing with it or whatever and I wanna switch out you know, something different on my hook, I will drop it in here. Uh, if some of y'all are into recycling soft plastics, you know, melting them down and making new ones, it's a great way to keep up with all of them or just have you a little trash can for you know, line clippings, this, that, 
you know, just to keep your boat clean. If you designate a certain spot for this stuff, your boat will stay a lot cleaner uh, and, and if you train yourself to actually use it, uh, which I've done pretty well. You can see down in there, there's a, there's a few soft plastics and stuff. I don't know why that one's in there. Still got a weight on it. I'm pretty bad about that, but I wouldn't throw that away. I always go through this stuff, uh, but as you can see, a lot of this stuff is just not really usable anymore. Here's another quick hack. You see this foam right here. Uh, I just added this. You probably didn't see it earlier in the shots. I think it's going to be a great little hack. Uh, I can add various hooks that I, you know, just need to grab real quick because I have all my soft plastics here. So you, you kind of need both of those to catch fish. Uh, where I got these, I don't really know where you can get them. I, I actually got these when I got some flies from Fatties on the Fly. Go look him up on Instagram. He's an awesome guy and he sent me these flies. I've now moved my flies over to this box and I'm going to start filling it up and doing, hopefully I can do a little fly fishing as well. He was super nice to, you know, send me these and these cool foam pads. Not sure where he got them. If you want to go figure out where he got them, go message him on Instagram, Fatties on the Fly. He's an awesome guy. Go check him out. Give him some business. Uh, that's just a really cool hack I just threw together. I hope you like it. So guys, I'm deep into tackle organization. I have stuff sprawled out everywhere right now. I got a lot of organizing to do. I'm not going to bore you with this stuff. I hope you enjoyed today's tips. You know, apply them to your own situation. Get creative and get more organized. You'll catch more fish that way. And mainly, if you buy all of these expensive lures, you might as well know where they're at and have a good hierarchy to get to them fast. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these tips. Stay outdoors. Keep doing what you're doing. And I'll see you in the next video. I have a lot of work to do, guys. See ya.